So, ever lose track of where you are in a worksheet? It's a common problem when navigating large datasets. Thankfully, there are a couple of ways to highlight the active row and column to serve as a visual aid. For the first method, do the following. Select a range. It can be the entire worksheet, but here, my range will be this whole table. On the Home tab, go to Conditional Formatting and New Rule. Select the bottom option, and we're going to input a formula. Inside the OR function, we need two separate statements. For the first, let's use the cell function and specify col as the info type. This returns the active cell's column number. It is a volatile function, so the number it returns will update when the workbook recalculates. For our equality test, we want to check if this value is equal to the column number of a given cell in the conditional formatting range, which affects the whole table. We'll use the column function for this, and there's no need to include anything between the brackets. Unlike the cell function, the column function returns a fixed number. So that's the first argument done. The second is the same concept except for row. Is the active cell's row number equal to the row number of a given cell in the conditional formatting range? That completes the formula. Now select Format and choose a fill color. Select OK. OK. Now click about in the table and whenever you press F9 to recalculate the workbook, the active row and column will be highlighted. So that's great but we can go one step further. Let's automate this process so we don't have to keep pressing F9 to update it. Yes, unfortunately, this second method does involve VBA, which is not everyone's cup of tea, but let's show you anyway. Press Alt and F11 to launch the VBA editor. Open the relevant sheet object. Let's create a new subroutine that uses the selection change event to trigger the automatic recalculation of the worksheet whenever the active cell changes. This involves an if statement that ensures recalculation does not occur when there is an ongoing cut or copy operation. Without this, it will mess up. So back in our worksheet, click about in the table, and there we have it. This time it automatically highlights the active row and column. Oh, and one final thing. Fancy coming to next year's biggest annual gathering of Excel users? Register your interest now at globalexcelsummit.com.